All right, we're headed to go get some wood decking for the sauna. It's going over there. We got sauna going in play with our polar monkey, ice plunge, that mat space everywhere. We're gonna have some kickboxing over there. Noon on Tuesdays, Thursdays. We're getting ready for our noon lunch class. So. And then when I go to go this way, he does that again. And instead of me trying to like force it, I just go back underneath and I go the other way. Uh, we got noon class out of the way, had Aubrey come through, had Alex come through, and oh my goodness. Um, if they did like a little side competition, like a little beauty pageant of sorts, uh, we would win for sickest rash guards. <laughs> That's a fact. We've got Todd, Alex, Hunter, and Christian who've been training with us. We'll see who's been running the patterns. We'll see how it's clicked and how well it's worked. Thought it was going to be warmer down here, still 55 degrees. Welcome to Destin. If you've followed me long enough, you know that uh, I was only... I hit daily for like 190 episodes once because uh, there's a lot going on in a day. So if you haven't figured out, this is the daily download on the daily stack from the Wandering Grappler at Kusa Jiu Jitsu and Wellness down in Destin. This is not anybody's first rodeo. So just everybody's first rodeo since being through the system at least once, if not twice. Just a hand. Don't go elbow. As soon as you go, go to sweep. If the sweep doesn't work, switch to next one. Am I, like, I'm laughing right now. Not when I hit the mat. I got ice water in my bag. The real deal. Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. <laughs> Subscribe to the Craig Jones warm-up philosophy. Oh, there's no warm-ups in the streets. <laughs> he got his name on there. I didn't even know that. That's sick. This is rash guard. It's got rules oh, behind the back. I had to come out stunned on you all. Dude, most of these Neanderthals aren't wearing it. Alright. Good, good. 
really good. Take your own tomorrow. Go there. 
Keep going. You got to get him off. Bridge across and go dark hair. Scrape, scrape, scrape. There's no finish anywhere nearby. Keep going. Hey, how do we get out of body triangles? We just did this in the thing. You got 30 seconds. Bridge. Watch this. There's the kill. But you over committed and rolled over. You had another chance here. This is going to be in the G series. That'll fix that. I was thinking, uh, uh, dead orchard, and then I was like, we need to get one of the arms. We're going to home and control here. Get me right here. There it is. Get in, get in, get in, get in. That was a tap. Good job. All over your knees. So, what'd you learn? I got to slow down and not rush and not get like uh, trigger happy. You learn from watching that? Yeah, what'd you learn? Well, I need to recognize and to be better at recognizing my body position versus the other guy and knowing, like seeing things develop a little quicker. That's probably my biggest hang up right now is uh, I'm still, I have to get to a position before I'm thinking about the next move. And I force things, I try to, uh, it's like in Brandon's video he posts on Instagram, I'm trying to force people into what I want them to do. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't have my multiple sword situation hammered out to where like, you know, based on the situation that I'm in, I'm drawing the weapon appropriate for that moment. I haven't really noticed myself because I guess I see myself every day and I'm not one to take a bunch of pictures and whatnot. But uh, like I weighed, uh, I weighed in at like 172 for this last competition. I probably hadn't weighed 172 in 20 years. And I found a picture that I took the month before I started Jiu Jitsu back in uh, June of 21 and compared it to myself now. It's a huge change. Main thing I learned was when I'm trying to pass guard, controlling that bottom leg, uh, especially keeping a good frame, getting my knee in, um, my bottom side knee. So I go in twister side, control the hips more. Uh, I was letting him get the, his right arm up under my hips, which was really stopping me get to twister side. So that was kind of aggravating. So uh, San Barbosa does a great job of keeping the hips real close and just kind of like scooting like he's twerking up the mat. Slowing down, slowing down, making smooth transitions. I was rushing some stuff and ended up catching me back in half guard a few times. Left, I was able to pass. Uh, but slowing down, smooth transitions, actually using the systems that we go on. Just things like that. Uh, listening to my coach made a huge difference. I listened to, to Isaac, made a huge difference. Like, I was trying to finish a uh, kind of like a Von Flew, more of an arm triangle type deal. But I was in half guard and I was like, poking my butt straight up in the air. And I kept hearing him yell, hip slow. And then I heard my opponent start kind of gurgling a little bit. So once I got my hip slow, compressed and started driving through, like I was actually legitimately trying to pass his guard, uh, I caught the tap, which was very fortunate. Seeing the different pathways from the things that we're learning here in class, like seeing them in competition, like the windows were open, I just didn't go through them. Uh, I just hesitated, didn't pull the trigger to them. So now I know I can do this, pull the trigger, hit it, let's go through it because I mean, we drill the stuff a lot, uh, which makes it movement memory. I don't really believe in muscle memory because your muscle is just it's there, it doesn't have a brain, but movement memory, your body learns patterns, your body knows how to go through them. So uh, I'm just gonna come in, keep coming in every day, getting my drills in uh, and binding the system. So that's how I feel about it.